So good morning people of the internet and welcome to a blue sky sunny day in the UK. Um, it's been about a year since um, I've done a video like this in the S3. Um, I think my last one, the last one I was waffling about um, a year of ownership. I was talking about um, any issues I'd had, which there was very few. Uh, and just basically saying what it's like living with an S3. Um, and I say it's been about a year since I've done that video. And uh, I think it's time for an update. Um, I'll be honest, it's the wrong time of year to be doing work on a car. It's too cold, too wet, too damp, too horrible. So the videos on tinkering, basically, are going to be few and far between at the moment. And uh, yeah, I decided just to really give you an update of how things are going. So, since the last video, what's been happening? Um, there's a few bits that have been done this year to the car. Um, I think one of the earlier videos was for uh, the water pump, not the water pump, sorry, the thermostat, and I did a carbon clean at the same time. And uh, other than that, I think it's pretty much been servicing and general maintenance, nothing much. So, all in all, just general stuff. So I'll be honest, the thermostat was a little bit challenging, but that's modern cars for you, you know, cramming two litre engines in something this small. Um, it's still quite a feat, let's be honest. Um, but other than that, what's been the problems I've had this year? Well, I'll be honest, nothing. Um, I know some people say that S3 is a high maintenance, or all the S series of Audi's are high maintenance. But I've got to say, from my experience, no problems, really. Um, I had some back into the car, which wasn't my fault, uh, which had to be repaired. And that cost me a little bit of money, it cost him some money as well. Uh, and basically, at the same time, I got the door repaired, I also had the bumper sprayed as well. Um, wasn't anything to do with the accident, I wouldn't expect him to pay for that, he paid for the damage uh, and I paid for the extra. Um, so I haven't really spent any kind of money on this this year. The thermostat job, again the, the part wasn't that expensive. Um, I can't remember if the cam chain was this year or last year, but anyway, you've seen the videos through the series, those have been following the channel for a few years now, will have seen all the little videos I've done. Um, as you saw from the beginning of the video, I basically just did the, the general stuff. I put a little bit of oil in it and I sort of tucked on the water. I'll be honest, that hasn't been done for a long time. I mean, don't get me wrong, the car's not used a lot at the moment because of uh, everything that's going on. I'm working from home and we don't really go anywhere. Um, but if we do, we usually take this car. Um, we should take the wife's car really because it's a diesel and uh, it's obviously more economical. But yeah, this does not a good day, it'll do 30 to the gallon. And yeah, people, like I say, always seem to think that these burn a lot of oil, uh, and they don't. I'll be honest, between oil changes, which uh, on average is every six months, um, I use very little oil, under half a litre, I would say. Now, for a turbocharged engine, that's not too bad. And I don't hang about, you know. And there are times when the wife's like the car where. Um, yeah, I get a little bit ambitious. When she's in the car, it's nice and relaxed, obviously. Um, but we do have the odd blip, but she's not a big fan of speed. So, it's not using a lot of oil, and the car's on, what may I be there, 126,000. So it's not using a lot of oil. It's not costing me a huge amount of money. Um, Tyres are over a year old now, which is pretty good, to be honest. Um, and another bone of contention for S3 drivers, and you see it on the forums all the time. Um, what tyres are the best? Well, it depends how you drive. Um, I, have, as I think I've said before, I had an EP3, you know, a Civic Type R. And when I bought it, it came with horrible tyres on it. It was all over the place. And, well, roundabouts, just, it wouldn't go round. It pointed straight. So I went for Uni Royals Rain Sport 3s, and on that they uh, they proved their worth. And I think they're about 80 quid each. They're not expensive, and I put them on this, and I've also put them on the Weiss car as well. Um, for what I do and the way I treat cars, they're fine. 
Um, I've never had a situation where I've gone, Phew. if I put better tyres on, that wouldn't have happened. Um, I chuck it into corners, I chuck it round roundabouts, the rain sports hold up fine. So I've got no complaints with them. Um, again, they're not the most expensive ones. Uh, I know people go for quote the, the Pirellis and the Contis and things like that. But to me, these tyres are great. Um, so what else? What else? Let me think. It's I'm struggling, I'll be honest, to find things to talk about because nothing nothing's caused me any grief. It's just been a pleasant car to drive and a good fun car. And you know, when you put your foot down. Miller seems to be the best choice. Uh, not only is it a good performance oil, it doesn't break down. Um, it's also quite forgiving to the, the tappets as well, the cams, cam followers, cam tappets, whatever you want to call them, uh, the hydraulic tappers. Um, there's a lot of oils that can eat away at seals. And, um, you know, once your cam followers start going, it, it's a big old job, let's be honest. Um, so I've used Miller's. Um, it's specially designed for these kind of engines, so why not use it? Um, I know a lot of people also use the Castrol, uh, Castrol Edge. Again, nothing wrong with it at all. Um, just me personally, it's Millers. Um, so, yeah, just your insurance to consider. If you're young as well, um, I've got a friend called Kieran, uh, he's got an S3. I know he pays an awful lot of insurance, an awful lot. Um, so your insurance if you're younger is going to be a lot more than a normal car. They are quite high in the insurance bracket. Uh, for me it's not so important, I'm an old kid. <laughs> One of the benefits of growing older, you get cheaper insurance. Um, so if you consider getting one, then why well, hold back? To be honest, they're a great fun car. They do everything well. You know, I'm pooping around now, I'm not giving it any. It's, it'll go straight to 60, 70 miles now without any effort whatsoever. Um, it's got the four wheel drive system, so in the winter, you've got that extra stability. And it is the hull deck system as well, so when you boot with a long like this, your hull deck is only working the front wheels, only kicks in the back wheels as and when you need it. Um, the brakes are brilliant. Uh, they've never failed to stop me, and I've had some clouds play in front of me, and um, I've had to stop really quick, but they're great. Uh, the ABS does what it's supposed to do, the traction control, I know on some of the videos, especially the 0 to 60 people are saying I should turn the traction off, this, that and the other. But I'll be honest, the traction control on this, I, I very rarely see. Um, it will come on if it's really icy, and I'll give it a, a bit of a, an ambitious bootful. But normal driving, um, I don't get traction control interfering with the car whatsoever. Uh, the only time it's caught me out, and it was weird, really weird, I hit a piece of ice. And it was like an engine cut coming in. It was, it was like, bop, 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 bop. Uh, like an Omex system, that kind of thing. Uh, and that at first was a bit, oh, what's wrong with the car? But it, it wasn't, there was nothing wrong with the car. Um, it was just basically the traction control got really anal about it and, uh, and cut the power completely. Um, so that may catch you out. But normally, uh, and the, the roads are quite wet today, the traction control doesn't really interfere with the car whatsoever. Um, so yeah, basically, if you're going to buy one of these, uh, that's probably why you're looking at these videos, then why not? Why not, to be honest? There's not a lot 
in the price bracket of these cars, uh, again, you can pick them up. Um, I've seen as little as five grand for some. They, they might be a bit ropey, so if you're not into car mechanics and you can't do it yourself, probably ones to avoid. But a decent one, you're going to be looking about ten grand, um, a little bit more, maybe a little bit less. But there's there's quite a bit of choice out there as well. Um, I think the only downside to these cars, people will buy them, thrash them around for a couple of years, and then get rid of them. Um, but I guess that's all less cars. Right, I'm going to have a little drive. I think I've waffled enough now. And, um, yeah, join me for um, what they call some B-road bashing, I think. <laughs> Catch you later.